What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're going to have some more fun with the Safe Life Defense Frost Body Armor. A little over a year ago we did a test and it seemed to be indestructible. Today we're going to put it to the test against the Gatling gun. I'm really excited to see how it holds up. Let's go take a look at everything and get started. So here is the Tipman Armory 9mm Gatling gun and you may notice it looks a little different. It was on two wheels but now I have it on the stand and it looks really really cool and it's gonna be a lot nicer to shoot because now I don't have to squat down or put it on a table. I literally can just stand behind this thing and start cranking. If you've never seen this before it shoots 9mm and it takes Glock mags. We have 33 round mags, 50 round mags and a 100 round mag for this thing. You stick it in there and as fast as you can crank it is as fast as it'll shoot. Really, really fun. So this is the Safe Life Defense Frost Body Armor. It's a flexible rifle rated armor. It's got lots of little ceramic plates all throughout the vest, all through the sides and the back. And behind it is a soft armor that's called Dyneema. All together, it's extremely tough. And when we tested it last year, it stopped everything it was rated for and then some. It didn't seem like we could ever make it through this stuff. So today I'm really excited to see how it's gonna hold up against the Gatling gun. Before we get started, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor and a giveaway that goes along with it. And it's a big one. I'm talking $10,000 cash is up for grabs and six iPhone 12s. Lords Mobile is sponsoring today's video and the key to winning this giveaway is by helping me, Kentucky Ballistics, beat Brandon Herrera. And there's some consequences to us losing this battle. If Team Kentucky Ballistics loses, I'm gonna have to eat an eggplant. But if Team Brandon Herrera loses, he's gonna have to drop his precious macaroff into some macaroni. 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 Whatever. Regardless, he's not gonna like it and it's gonna be hilarious. So now that you know about the giveaway and what's gonna happen if we lose, let me tell you about Lords Mobile. Lords Mobile is a great strategy game and a perfect way to kill time no matter where you are. Maybe you're bored at work, maybe you're stuck at home because it's raining and you can't make it to the range, or maybe you simply like destroying massive armies with a tap of your finger. Choose army, troop, and hero formations the way you like, build an awesome city, and make the best alliances so that you can destroy millions of enemies, which are real players, by the way. And if you so choose, you can be evil in this game. You can capture, execute, even charge ransom to other players. Nowadays there's so many different types of games you can download. There's strategy, RPG, city building, etc, etc. It can be kind of hard to choose, but that's what's so great about Lords Mobile. You get a good mix of all of them. Now let's talk about the iPhone 12s and the $10,000 cash giveaway. There's two ways you can win. Click the link in the description down below, download Lords Mobile, and help Team Kentucky Ballistics win this battle. There's a might rank section on the page and you can increase your might rank in many ways. For example, by leveling up and increasing your kingdom. When the challenge is ended, the top three might players from my ranking will win an iPhone 12 each. Besides the top three might winners, there's also gonna be 10 lucky players that get selected to win $1,000 cash each. And if Team Kentucky Ballistics total might is higher than Brandon's, we'll have four additional players to win $1,000 cash each. Each, and I won't have to eat an eggplant. Again, all you have to do is click the link in the description down below, download Lords Mobile, and you'll be entered to win $10,000 in cash prizes and a ton of iPhone 12s. And on top of that, when you download the game using my link in the description down below, you'll automatically get a $350 mobile gift pack. Again, a big thank you to Lords Mobile for sponsoring today's video and putting on this awesome giveaway for everybody. Don't let me down, Team Kentucky. I really don't want to eat an eggplant. So first, we're gonna start out with just one 30 round mag of nine mil, 115 grain full metal jackets. So when this thing fires, the center barrel's not the one firing. It's over here on the right. So you kind of gotta aim to the left. All right, let's try right there and see where we hit. Let's take one more. Yeah, I'd say we're good. Let's let her rip. <laughs> okay, so all our rounds hit right here. That thing surprisingly holds a pretty tight group. Let's flip this up. And we do not have a single hole through the back of this vest. I forgot to give Spanky his good luck slap. Stop 30 rounds, how about another 30 round mag? <laughs> Let's check. 
check it out. 60 rounds into the front of this vest, pretty much all in the same spot. Didn't make it through. Nope, no holes. These little marks right here, this is just from the sheer pressure of this vest getting pushed against Spanky. But I'm not seeing a single hole out the back of that vest. We are 60 rounds in and that vest is still holding strong. Now let's hit it with a 50 round drum mag. Let's see if we're still hitting where we want to be hitting. Okay, still looking good. Let's let her rip. So if my math is correct, 60 plus 50, that's 110 rounds of nine mil that we have hit this vest with. Do you think it made it through? I'm on the fence. I feel like it stopped all of them, but 110 rounds is a lot. So let's see. Did it stop all those? Holy smokes. There is not a single hole in the back of that vest. It is so hot though. That is absolutely nuts. Yeah, not a single hole. Let's keep hitting it. I'm pretty impressed so far. 110 rounds of nine mil in one spot all at once. That's a lot to stop, but I think we might get it to fail with this. This is a hundred round drum mag and it's full of 115 grain full metal jackets. You just got jammed. You just got jammed. Ow! You just got jammed. only get that thing to run without jamming that would be so cool so we are at 210 rounds of nine mil gonna be honest i'm not gonna be surprised if we made it through the vest at this point because that is a whole lot of nine mil hitting you in one spot leave your answers in the comment section down below did it make it through oh Get it though. Let's take this off of here real quick. So the fabric is just shredded from all the pressure, but I'm not seeing any actual holes. Might as well just cut that at this point. I'm cutting away from myself. So your comments, I'm not really seeing any holes. Now I think that ceramic dust right there is coming from the bottom right here where I flipped it over. Let's take a look at Spanky real quick. I'm not seeing any new rounds inside Spanky. I mean, we are super close, but I don't think we've had a round actually make it through the vest yet. 210 rounds of nine mil full metal jackets. I cannot believe that that vest is still holding up. Now let's hit it with another 50 rounds and see how it holds up. Make sure we're still aimed up because I moved Spanky. We are still good.
hand slipped off. <laughs> 260 rounds. I'm not so sure right now. I'm really not. Dang. And we're getting close. Holy smokes. Still nothing. Still nothing. Nothing has made it through this vest. 260 rounds. Well, I guess we'll shoot it again. Jam. 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 What is going on? Jam. You just got jam. That wasn't as smooth as I wanted it to be. Looks like when I was trying to uh, clear the jam, I ended up hitting over here. So that last jam, I added about three more rounds in, so I'd still say we hit it with another 50 rounds. Holy smokes. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. Um, still no new rounds in Spanky. We still have not made it through this vest. Cool. So here's that first layer. And here you can see all these little ceramic plates. And that's what was stopping most of everything. But as you can see, it chewed up a lot of those plates. And you can see we finally chewed a hole through that. This is all the Dyneema. And this is some tough stuff. Look at all this. So there's a few layers. Oh. And it, man, look at that. Pretty much everything was up front. Check that out. Barely anything made it to these back layers. It's nothing but pure lead. That is nasty. Whoa. Welcome to the Thunderdome, brother. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I didn't think I could be any more impressed with the frost body armor, but I was wrong. What did you think about it? Leave your answers in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And be sure to check out Kentucky Ballistics clothing. Don't forget about the 20% off sale. Links to all those can be found in the description down below. As always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics, and I'll see you next time.